Hi everyone, this is Diane and I'm here with a third um, installment, I guess, of des ephemera pieces for my design team project for Artsology. I'm making floral and garden pieces for a garden binder that I'm making. So for this project I am using Artsology's floral library cards. I guess they're rose library cards. And you can print them with the grungy border or you can print them clean and plain. I did both, so I'll use both. The other elements that I have are um, book pages. In this case I'm using music paper. Here I used a page from a vintage accounting book, like a textbook type of thing to how, how to do accounting. And the paper is kind of fragile. You can see it's coming apart here. So I decided to switch to this music paper that's a little sturdier. And also I have some sewing tissue and some paper to back it with so you can journal on it. And I have an assortment of tabs already that I can use. You could use fabric and lace and things like that for the tabs also. So again, it's a very quick and easy project. And I'm going to make extras to have in my stash. So I'm, I'm amassing a bit of a stash of ephemera pieces for future projects, which is awesome. So I started out by cutting out the library cards and then I just adhered this piece in the center to a um, piece of music. So I'm just going to, well, I think I'll take the tissue. Do I want to do the tissue now? Yes. So I just have uh, cut some of the tissue down so it's a little bit smaller pieces. And I just have about four layers here. I'm going to put that on there. And I'm going to sew around the card itself. Oh, sorry. back to my chair out and the wheel hit the camera so I'm going to adjust it back to where it was. I guess that's okay. So I'm going to take a piece of tape and just adhere this to the sewing paper. So first I'm going to sew around the edges of the card and then I will sew, well, I will trim this tissue and then I will sew everything to the backing paper. I believe I saw Gail doing something like this on a video quite a long time ago where she had tissue paper in the middle. I don't know how she constructed everything, but I know she had sewing tissue in the middle. Gail Agostinelli, that is. using black thread throughout this project. So now I'm just going to trim around the tissue. a piece of the backing paper that can be journaled on. And I'm going to use a straight stitch for this, just because it doesn't really matter. And it was kind of a messy stitch, kind of wavy. Now when I turn the corners as I'm going like that, I don't get right to the edge. So I'm going to do another um, march around the paper and get closer to the edges this time. 
of the corners. Now if you noticed before I started sewing that this isn't the grungy edge card so the white card blended in with the white paper but having the black stitching helps pull it out from the background and that's what it looks like from the back all stitched on with the black stitching. So now all I have to do is add one of my tabs. Just select a random color. I can put it on the side or I could put it on top. I think for this one I'm going to put it on top, but I'm going to off, put it off center and I'm not going to sew it, I'm going to glue it. This pattern is slightly textured, this paper is slightly textured on this side and I think the smooth sides will stick better with the glue. So I'm going to make sure I put, oops, that's a lot of glue. Make sure I put the glue on the non-textured side. Of course, you can add more things. You can layer um, colored paper or tissue or um, you know mulberry paper, whatever, behind, like between these two papers. You could um, put a brad or a not a brad, or you could do a brad uh, eyelet in this. And I may do that. I don't know yet, but. For now, this is how it's going to be. I wanted it to be not too um, fussy. So that's the finished card. It could be the finished card, or you can add more things to it. I'm going to do another one. This time I'm going to use one with the grungy border. zigzag stitch. Again, I'll take some of the sewing tissue. I've got some smaller pieces that are better to do on camera. So I've got four layers here. I think I had before I had the tissue on the back of this when I sewed this down, but didn't do it that way this time. So I'm just going to sew around the edge once. You may wonder why I'm putting the tissue paper in there if you can't even see it. I'm just trimming it off. It's it's because it gives it just a fun different texture when you're holding this. It's a little bit it's soft, but it's sturdy enough and it just it's a little bit not too much, a little squishy, but you can write on it just because there's some layers of tissue in there. And I have a lot of sewing tissue. Do it this 
this way. I can see that the, it's a little long, so I'm going to trim it. And this the front part was a little bit wide, just a tiny bit, so I shaved a bit off it. Now I already have one um, go round of black stitching, so I'm just going to do one more. So that's what it looks like with the grungy one, and that's one that's not grungy. I've got a pink tab I can use. I just have this little container full of tabs. A lot of them I used my Stampin' Up! Punch. Some of them are cutouts from digitals or whatnot. Um, this is, I'm not sure, it might have been with my Big Shot. But. I have a lot in there. This is from a digital. I'm not sure which one. I even have a bread tag in here because they make really fun tabs. But I'll just use this pink one. Okay, I am going to get something to wipe my hand off, make one or two more. I want to make them, um, get them all sewn, and then I'll add the tabs to the rest of them. But I won't do all of that on camera. I'd rather just get the messy glue part all done at one time. Do another grungy one. Oh, I have this one already started. It's already stuck on there. This time I'm going to remember to put the tissue on it for the first stage. I just kind of roughly cut it to the right size and then as you know I'm going to trim around it. I didn't measure the paper, the book page that's behind the, the printed piece. I just 
kind of um, taped it to the center. I had a pile of three or four pa music papers, taped one to where I wanted it to be, and then cut them all. Just put them on the cutter and cut through three or four pages. So then I had them all this that size. And I did that twice, so they may vary a little bit in size. I, I did two different stacks of them. This one, glue it onto the side. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that right now because I want to sew them all and then glue the tabs on, but I'm going to put this one on the side. So I'm going to continue this off camera. I have three more cards to do. Uh, some of these cards will end up in the journals that I'm making now, the binder journals, and some will go in my stash. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, design team project bit of ephemera. I will show all of the pieces that I did in all three of the segments of the design team project. I'll show them all in one video and uh, then I'll get busy working on those binders which I'm very excited to do. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.